Hi, my name is Terry White and this is Designing by Thread. This episode is entitled Embellishment Tality, The Glories of the Bar Tack. I'm going to show you some creative ways to use the simple bar tack on your sewing machine. Bar tack is simply a zigzag stitch or a satin stitch. Here's a thread painting of a fruit bowl. And Sometimes when I do thread painting, I have distortion in the surrounding fabric. So I came up with an idea of using a bar tack to take care of that. Uh, sometimes if you have this kind of thing with a lot of stitching. The thread that I'm going to be using is a variegated machine cotton quilting thread from YLI. I tried to match up the colors of the paint spots on this fabric. The fabric that I started with was a pressing cloth from when I was dyeing with Sukuneko dye paints. So I've got my design sideways because I want my, um, my little seating or uh, bar tacks to go up and down this way. Now you can see with the variegated thread that each bar tack is a different color. Okay. Now I've got my bar tack, um, I'm sorry, I started with a zigzag and I have it set for a width of seven which is as wide as it can be. And then I've got it set for um, one which is um, going to be very, very close. So this is actually a zigzag stitch, but it's very, very close, so it comes out like a satin stitch. Uh, I don't know why I don't use a satin stitch. I don't know why. I just started with a zigzag, and that's what I keep do doing. You can try that. Okay, so I've bar tacked all around. I want to show you something. The first thing that you're going to want to do always is make a little test sample. Please do a test sample. Okay, because, like for instance, um, I had some little bar tacks, didn't like them, so then I made it wider, liked them, but then it was distorting because I didn't lower my thread tension. So when I lowered my thread tension, um, it worked better. Maybe it was the other way around. Yeah, it was the other way around. Okay, see, this was better thread tension. All right. So the other thing is when you do a test sample, use the exact same fabric and the exact same stabilizer that you used. You see now this was still stabilized from my thread painting. I still have stabilizer on here. Anytime you do an embroidery embellishment on a fabric, it really, really helps to have a stabilizer on the back. Okay. Now there's a couple of things I want you to see here. This is pretty neat. I've got almost like a huge decorative stitch. So if I didn't cut the threads in between there, you've got this really big, um, what is that? Like the fly stitch is what that looks like. Okay, but uh, I'm going to uh, cut in between. But you don't have to cut in between. That can be a look, especially if you cross over and you've got these really great little threads. And sometimes I do leave threads on some projects I've done that and it's just really a fun effect. So now I've cut all the little threads and I'm going to get rid of them with a lint roller. Lint roller is our friend. I use the lint roller all the time on my ironing board when I've got too many little strings on there. Oh, I can see that I haven't cut one. Now this piece is not going to get heavy use, so I'm not going to worry too much about um, little, little um, threads coming off of it. Uh, but if you're making a handbag or something that's going to get heavy use, my suggestion is to stabilize the stitch on the back of your piece by ironing a piece of um, fusible interfacing. You could do that or you could use a little drops of glue, but um, iron-on interfacing works really well. Now, one of the things you can do also is go in with a second thread if you want and make smaller seeds. And that's fun too. 
Okay, this still looks a little plain for me, so I'm going to add another embellishment. Um, I've got this fabric that looks like a hand dye, and um, it's got a lot of the same colors as the thread painting. Um, this fabric, I got it at a quilt shop, and it was on sale, and I think it was because of the, might have been the gold in it, um, and so I used the back of it, which doesn't have any of the gold in it, and I just think it's so pretty. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just simply, um, I've put um, I've put Wonder Under on the back, and so I'm going to cut out little squares, and I'm going to fuse them in place, all around like little tiles around my design. And I'm going to try to do this rather quickly. I'm going to be using this really beautiful uh, variegated cotton cording by YLI. It's part of their painter's palette. And this is what happens to my beautiful yarns and threads. And it's very difficult to couch down when you've got this kind of a problem. So I have something called a strand reel. And um, what I do here is I just wind the cord onto a spool and put it on the strand reel and it hangs from my neck and then it'll simply wind